Mama Bear's cousin Bertha. She has a cousin named Bertha since when? Anyway, Mama Bear's cousin Bertha is about to give birth. She's about to Bertha her first child. Mama wants to help her cousin, but she can't. When Papa asks why not, Mama huffs, because she's the only one who can do all the cooking and cleaning and shopping in this house. Papa brags he can handle those things easily. Especially because it's just a few hours. I mean, doesn't take that long to go across town, right? Mama and Papa are about to get into a huge fight over outdated gender stereotypes when the phone rings. Bertha had twins! Mama leaves to see them. The rest of the book is a comedy of errors, as Papa fails at everything he tries. When he tries beating the rugs, he gets the clothes dirty. When he tries to make pancakes, they land on the ceiling. When he tries making a fire, the house is filled with smoke, and he destroys a pillow. It's pretty funny stuff. My only complaint is that using the fireplace and an old-fashioned rug beater are not daily chores that your average person would reasonably be expected to know. The joke would be funnier if Papa messed up on something that's more common and simple, like putting something away in a trash can. Mama calls to say she's coming back. Papa panics because, oh no, the house is a mess! Luckily, their neighbor, Mr. Skunk, arrives. Yeah, they have a talking skunk for a neighbor. I don't think I've seen this character in other Berenstain Bear books. Mr. Skunk gathers all the animals of the forest, and they clean the house. It's just like Snow White and the Seven Dwarves movie, especially the part where squirrels sweep the floor with their tails. When Mama comes back, she's surprised at how clean it is. Papa takes all the credit for it, while the kids joke about his failure. That's the end of the book. It's a short, humorous story about Papa Bear screwing up when he tries to take control of the house. There are many Berenstain Bear books with the exact same premise. Papa's a really big screw-up. It works just fine. I wish the book had a different ending. I wanted Papa to apologize to Mama for being sexist and taking her for granted. He learns his lesson and appreciates all the hard work she does. But no, the book has a joke ending where Papa learns nothing and continues to be a failure at everything besides his carpentry business. The ending works since it's more of a joke book than one of the serious Berenstain Bear books, but still, I would have liked a better ending. I give the Berenstain Bears Life with Papa an 8 out of 10.